Today, I just want to give you a final update on these, the Scout HDs from Fat Shark, based on HD Zero technology. Now, this is the third video I've made on this, but there is some news I want to share with you, so please hang around to get that because we do have a bit more info now from Fat Shark. If you haven't seen the whole saga in this, there is two previous videos, and whilst I've taken them offline, I have put links to them in the comment section, so if you want to go and check out number one and two, there is links there to it for you as well. The very quick basics of this were that I bought and reviewed the Scout HDs, and I was happy to recommend them based on great performance, and being a cheap way of getting into digital FPV. Recently, we have seen some issues with people getting support from Fat Shark, but there's a specific issue where a user had an SMA port come off. He went to Fat Shark support and they basically said, sorry, we can't get parts for them. You should try HD0. Now, for me, I had a personal problem with that because these are a set of Fat Shark goggles, and as the manufacturer, I'm of the opinion that they're responsible for maintaining and supporting them. It wasn't that that user was told to go and talk to HD0 because they're specifically looking after that bit. The reply was basically a fob off, in my opinion, and at that point, I decided to withdraw my personal recommendation to consider buying these. Because for me, it's hard to recommend a product that a user might buy and not be able to get fixed if there's an issue. And it appeared that Fat Shark were basically washing their hands of it. I put that video out, and again, it's linked in the description. And not long after, I got a lot of comments, and I was actually contacted by one of the guys at HD Zero, and they gave me a statement from their point of view, which I'll put up on the screen now. And I shared that in my second video. And that was that DiviMath make the PCBA for the Scout HDs and Fat Shark make the rest, basically. Um, it's an important part of their ecosystem, the HD Zero family, and we are happy to provide firmware updates, troubleshooting and consulting for customers. And what Carl basically said was they're going to try and support their bit and they hope Fat Shark does the other bit. So, that was the situation, and in that video I put out, I think it was a couple of days ago, I basically said, I'm happy to recommend them again based on that, because users can get support. However, I still wasn't 100% comfortable of the behavior with regards to Fat Shark, because again, I'll stress it, I firmly believe as a Fat Shark product, they should be the ones supporting this. Now, today, Fat Shark have left a comment on my original video, and I just want to say, first of all, a massive thank you to Fat Shark for doing that. They haven't contacted me direct, but they have explained a bit more about this on the comment, and I'm going to share that with you now. So, as you can see, they have responded on that original video, and what they have said is this. The Scout HD was never officially released. What you bought and tested was clearly identified as a beta unit. Unfortunately, due to the current chip prices, it was not viable to go to full release at the time. I actually expected more issues and I am quite pleased at the Scout HD's field performance. We are hoping to be able to continue to service the beta units with production units that never materialized. Note that, because I'll come back to that in a minute. However, being a beta run, a recall budget was in and if we can't fix the unit, we will arrange for any failures to be returned to the retailer for a refund. As you pointed out, the beta units performed quite well, and I'm looking forward to seeing the Scout HD in a future release. So, Fat Shark have basically come back and said, look, you bought a beta unit, we expected more problems than we got, we didn't get those problems, but if we can't fix it, we'll just accept it back as a replacement. Now, that is really good, and I, look, I want to be 100% clear, I really appreciate Factshot's response on this. However, here comes the but, because I do have a but here, and I'm going to go down this road a little bit because I feel it's appropriate, and that is, yes, I bought these as a PVT set of goggles. They were originally listed on Get FPV as PVT. However, shortly after that, the PVT moniker or the label in the title was removed. At nowhere on the Get FPV website does it say that these are beta or that they're pre production. And nowhere on Fat Shark's own website, even now, does it say the Scout HDs are beta or pre a pre-verification test or production verification test, I should say. Um, so whilst I really appreciate 
the comment, and I understand what they're saying, I get that. What's really important here, and I wanna stress that they're saying if people buy these and have problems, they will take them back. So I'm more than happy to recommend them based on that. I do question something here, and that is that, okay, if you're telling me these are all PVTs or beaters, whilst I know I bought them as a PVT, I get that, there are users out there today still buying these with that not mentioned. It is not mentioned on the Fat Shark website. It is not mentioned on the GetFPV website. Now, I completely understand Fat Shark can't control what GetFPV are putting up on their website. That may just be a retailer issue. I completely understand that. And if that's the case, this could all be a communication issue and so forth. However, I will stress again, no way. On the Fat Shark website, under the page listing for the Scout HDs, did it say these were PVT or beta goggles? So, yes, I understand what you guys are saying, but if this is the case, then things need to be communicated better. And I think all of this could have been avoided if it was communicated better. None of this was ever about Fat Shark being a horrible brand to customers or not treating customers right. For me, this was all really simple that... I make a personal recommendation based on certain things. So is the product good? Can users get help? Can it be fixed? So forth, etc. And then if that changes, I would withdraw that, which I did with the Scout HDs. It was never done for clicks or anything like that. It was simply done for me being as open and as honest as I can possibly be. So the stance on this today, and this is the real important bit, is... As far as what Fat Shark is saying, okay, because if we read this statement, they are actually saying that these were never put into full production. So they are all beta units. So even the ones for sale right now on GetFPV, let me just do that. Get FPV, Scout HDs. I'm on here now, just gone to it. They're in stock, they're ready to buy. Nowhere here does it say beta, if we go, so nowhere does it find the word beta in the main listing. You can see it's found beta FPV on the side here. However, if we just look at the listing, nowhere here does it say beta, doesn't say beta down here, doesn't say PVT down here anymore. This is a product listing for a fully fledged product. So I get what you're saying, guys, but come on, this stuff needs to be sorted then. We need to get this right. Again, manufacture, SKU, everything as you would expect, and reviews in there as well. So I understand what you're saying. And if I go to fatshark.com, and if we just go headsets, Scout HDs, and I was on you earlier, unless they've already updated it, because I did put this comment live on the channel as well. Scout HD and parallel image quality. Just to be sure, we're going to search for the word beta. There is no finding of the word beta. PVT. There's no finding of the word PVT. Again, this all looks like a fully fledged product. So, I'm not trying to be awkward. I'm not trying to be difficult. What I'm saying is I, I understand the comment. I appreciate the feedback. But if this is the case, then you need to get these listings updated so people buying these today know what they're buying. That's all I'm going to say on this. Okay. So with regards to recommending these, I am more than happy to recommend people buy these goggles. Okay. They are a really good product. They're the product was never in question here. The product was great. The concern was support. They really are a really good product. With regards to Fat Shark themselves, um, look, we've had a reply. Fantastic. It, it means they're listening. That is always a good thing when a manufacturer is talking. I hope we see more of it. I did, and I will address this as well, say in those videos that I would personally question purchasing any product from that manufacturer based on this. And I will wind that back because it's unfair for me not to if I've said it and I said that based on personal opinion and having seen them reach out now, 
I am more comfortable with Fat Shark products than I was when we were in that situation there because they're talking and it's the same situation. If a manufacturer's talking, then it's good news. Hopefully that's fine. So with regards to the Scouts, if you're interested, they're still available on Get FPV, but understand from the statement that Fat Shark have posted that they are a beta product. They are not a fully fledged manufactured product and you may get issues and they may not be able to fix them. And if they can't though, they will sort you out. They will look after you. Your money is safe. Don't worry. I need to actually get a new lens for mine. I scratched it, hands up. It happened taking it off and it slipped and I've got a scratch on my lens. So I probably need to reach out to them. They're probably not going to want to talk to me, if I'm honest. Um, but I do need to send them a message to get that sorted. I'm hoping I can buy one. I'm not expecting it for free. Um, I scratched it. So I'm, I do wonder if it's going to be available if they don't have these in production. Um, that could be a problem. Um, but... We will see what happens on that one. But with regards to recommending them, no concerns at all. Go for it. And again, with regards to Fat Shark products, consider them. Anyway, that's it on this one. I will put the links to the original video in the comment section. A big thank you to Fat Shark for clarifying the situation. My only feedback is, guys, can we sort the comms out on this? And hopefully things like this won't happen again in the future. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you guys soon.